guys, uh, I thought I'd come back and instead of being in the kitchen, I thought I'd come out and talk to you a bit about my garden. So deep down, I really, really love to farm one day, but at the moment I've got this little backyard and so I just work with what I can. So a lot of my backyard is full of palmy, sort of low maintenance trees, the cycads over there um, and then along the side of my driveway, I've got these shrubby plants, stay green all year round. And up this side of the driveway, a lot of um, succulents, so you just pull them up and replant them. There is my favourite, is the black boy. Okay. Yeah. I got some water for the worm farm, which we'll show you in a second. A worm farm? It's called a worm cafe. I bought this at Bunnings. I can't remember, about $100. Um, and it comes with a starter kit with the worms and the soil. And then I just add all my compost from the kitchen in there. And about once a week, I um, lift it up. I pour some water in through the top and it runs through the worm, through the soil, down to the bottom. And it's got a little tap at the base here. I turn it on and all the nice fertilised water comes out. And that's what I use to water my vegetable patch. Just give my spinach a little water. The mint grows anywhere, so I've got a little pot. The backyard's only very small, so this is all I've got at the moment. Uh, when I get my farm, it's going to have a huge big veggie patch with everything in it. So at the moment I've just planted some um, snow peas here and there and some leek. So they're little at the moment, hoping the frost doesn't get hold of them. And I've got some strawberries here and a blueberry bush, which is going along nicely. So I'll give them all a bit of a water. This is just down the back corner of my garden. Uh, I've finally got a passion fruit growing. There's some passion fruit there and that's going to hopefully grow that way. I'll try that along the wire there. And I've got another creeper growing this way. Hopefully it'll grow along that way. Um, also got this big succulent thing, so if anyone wants pieces of that, break it off and then you pop it in a pot and away she goes. Also behind, there's another little spinach plant. And that's about it for this area. So this is a little plant, I can't remember what it's called, but if you give you, I think it's like a mint type, but if you give you a leaf a thing and you rub it with your fingers, you can usually smell the nice minty flavour, which is really nice. Some hanging plants in underneath my patio area, that's like a spider plant. Um, you get these plants, so I've got this off my mum and you, you just cut these bits off and plant them into your soil and then away she goes. So that's a piece that you can easily get growing from that. Yeah, this small is my here, which I've just planted into a bigger pot and hoping, hoping it'll start coming good soon. <laughs> there's a couple, there's a new shoot coming there. So if we keep the water up to it, hopefully we can get it going. Okay, go inside and I'll show you a couple of my indoor plants. Um, I'm getting a little collection of them. So around here on the table of there's this one here, it's called a uh, pilia, I think it's pronounced. That's coming along nicely because it needs a water. This one needs a water too. It likes filtered light and it likes to be watered regularly. We've also got a little fan out here. And this is another little succulent that I just picked out and broke off the plant in the backyard and popped it into the pot. Okay, so this is my philodendron it's called. And it grows really, fairly easy to grow. It's continued to grow and I went wound it and it wound up and Popped it onto the picture hook. Now it's um, growing nicely. It likes that position. I picked some rosemary from a bush on my walk the other day and I'm trying. Apparently, you can strike it, so I'll put it in water and I'll change that water frequently. But rosemary is quite hardy once you get it going, and I'm just waiting for, to find some little roots growing at the end and then I can pot it into a little pot. Um, so, rosemary is quite good to have for cooking, for roasts, um, and herbs and oils and stuff. It's quite a nice, and you can make it into a shrub as well. And it's good for keeping the insects away. So hopefully we can get that growing. I'll put some here, then I'll put some plants. This is my asparagus plant. I got that from my mum. It's growing really nicely. It's an old style plant that you don't see around very often anymore. Okay, so uh, thanks for joining me for my tour of my backyard and my plants. Um, hopefully one day I'll have a big farm that I can share with you.